All right, Coach, it's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago. Boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly as they get ready to match up with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Here's the man who's led the league in rushing twice in three seasons, Ezekiel Elliott. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Cowboys and Eagles, of course, such a great rivalry. Last year, the Cowboys got the better of the Eagles both times that they met with Philly coming off their Super Bowl title. But in weeks 10 and 14, it was Dallas beating Philly by a single possession. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. And he hits Jason Witten to tight end. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. First down, Prescott. Trying to get it to Cobb, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Nate Gary, and they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. This is the former Nittany Lion, the rookie Miles Sanders. And he's able to get this one down to about the 40. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Defensive end Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sad. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Winston company with some work to do after the sack. Shotgun now for Wentz. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Offense for the Cowboys working their way back out here. Charles, somebody has got to win the NFC Do East. They? It's like really? it's Do just they? up for grabs. The Cowboys right now after that loss on Thanksgiving to Buffalo, they're 6-6, six and six, but they are in first place still in the division. Hard to believe. It is hard to believe, but you're right. One of those two teams is going to win the division. We know that there's no wild card coming out of the East now. It's win or you're going home with everyone else. How about this? Dallas on Thanksgiving Day had a chance to create some distance, didn't they? They didn't get it done. Buffalo came in and whacked them. They finished now at Chicago, and I believe that's a Thursday nighter. And then they're home for the Rams, and then they're at Philly. And that could be the game that determines who wins the East and finish up the home with Washington. They have not beaten good teams all year long. They'll have their chance now because I'm going to count Chicago as a good team, and I'm counting the Rams as a good team. And in the Philadelphia game, we'll see how it all turns out. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. He's going to take off with it. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. 
And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. On now is Kai Forbath to try the field goal. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. And Forbath will put this one through. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Forbath now to kick it away after the made field goal. This will be fielded at the eight. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Well, CD, let's look at Philadelphia's season here as they come back out here for this next drive. Five and seven, three straight losses, but this last one was the real head scratcher. 37-31 to the Miami Dolphins. And they had a chance to pull into a tie with the Cowboys because the Cowboys are six and six. Still a chance at that division, obviously, but that was not a good look against Miami. To put it mildly, and while they have the opportunity to still win the NFC. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The sack by Robert Quinn. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. It's a second down run with Sanders. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That second down play nets a minus four. Good opening quarter for him. Remember, he had the sack earlier. Now a tackle for loss, another tackle for loss. He's really making it tough on the play call, though, isn't he? Because it's one thing to try and adjust when a guy is disrupting your running game. But when he's messing up your passing game as well, they may have to devote at least a second guy to him to try and keep him away from their plays. And down he goes. They bring down Wentz on the sack. Malik Collins in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game, I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. And call that an even 50 yards on the punt with seven on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and ten. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. For Zeke, what a first three years he's had in the NFL. Last year, his second rushing title, 1,434 yards. Not as many as 1,631 that he had as a rookie, but still his yards per game average was the best in the National Football League. On second down, Elliott. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision, and good footwork, and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. The first down carry by Elliott. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Yeah, and that was a safety that came through and made the play, but there's no doubt in my mind 
he hits like a linebacker, and we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. Draw play, Elliott. And an alley to run! And he's got this down to the 35. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and ten. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he'll just plow right into a host of tacklers. Nothing there at all, and it'll be second and ten. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. They'll wind up getting ten back as that sets him up for third down. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not, and they'll try to convert on third and inches. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. They'll roll him out right. He can run for it, and he will. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him. And if you're not going to use a spy, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, all he does is hurt you. Have to at least be able to contain him somewhat. There they could not. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. On second down, it's Elliott. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. Now Elliott. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. And give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. My one man in the backfield. That's Elliott on second and goal. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott under pressure. Down he goes. Sacked at the ten. Fletcher Cox, the former Mississippi State Bulldog, ringing the cowbell there on the sack. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. To throw is Prescott. And that is incomplete. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities. But as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up. And that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. And Forbath will put this one through. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it.
Forbath now to kick it away after the made field goal. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. This is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. A running play there going to get 11 as they get a quick first down. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a play fake. Wentz. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Oh, and after the sack, he's still down on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. On the counter now, it's Sanders. Call it a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Right there, 54, right there, right there. Yeah. First throw now for the backup, McCown. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Gets past one man. It'll be a 40-yard punt, eight on the return. And possession will switch hands first and ten. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe someday they press it a little bit. This might be the case. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys... Hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Off the play fake, Prescott. Complete to Jason Witten. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 24 yards. The last time we saw Jason Witten on a football field instead of the broadcasting booth was, of course, two years ago, 2017. He had 63 catches, 560 yards, five touchdowns. It was his 11th Pro Bowl that season for a man who came into the league back in 2003. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. 
Here's Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. That throw good for four. It, it's baby. second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second six. They'll try the right side with Elliott. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. A third field goal of the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. And this is caught by Witten, the tight end. Yeah, this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down right near the 24. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. And Forbath will put this one through, and that will make our score 9 to nothing. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. Forbath now to kick it away after the made field goal. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. They'll be in search of their initial points in the contest, trailing 9 0 as they begin with a first down. Let's go now. 8 3. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now Howard. Seven yards there and a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So from the 36 now, first and 10. Right there, 54, right there, right there, 54. Working from the gun, McCown. Stepping up, he'll try and run. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. On the double. Check, check Mike 54. Mike 54. I'm, I'm coming out to you. This is Howard on second down. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Check, check. Walk 54. Walk 54. Strip that ball. Strip that ball. Check 52. Dude. On first, they go right back to Howard. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. 
To throw on second and six. McCown incomplete. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now a pass hauled in downfield. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They fake the give. Now McCown going for it all. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. J.J. Arthega Whiteside, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. When teams take shots at the end zone, You've got to defend it the same way you would defend the first down sticks. You defend the goal line exactly the same way. They can't cross that. You play through the receivers. And on that play, that's exactly what they did and batted it away. They'll run it, Sanders. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. From the gun, it's McCown. And this is going to be incomplete. But partner, anytime someone tells me that fundamentals are leaving the game, I'm going to show them this play because they couldn't get to the passer. So what do you have to do? Get your hands up in the passing lane, and they batted it away on a third down attempt. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. The kick by Elliott is good. And they are on the board. It's now 9-3. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Try to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your own. Oh, Prescott stripped. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. 54 is Mike, 54 is Mike. Check, check, watch it now. After the fumble recovery, here's McCown. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Let's go, baby. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. <laughs> The Eagles into the red zone for the first time. They've got a first and 10 from the 10. The Sanders has got it complete. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. A gain of four on the play, and that'll make it second down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Set. 
60 Pittsburgh. I'm coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. Get it. To throw again on second down. McCown, he'll buy some time right. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. In their mind, certainly a field goal try would be a letdown. They had the great starting field position. Now facing third down. Shotgun here for McCown. Got him eight. And it hurts. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Four yards on the touchdown grab as his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Elliott good on the extra point, and that will give him the lead here as we get on towards halftime. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Under a minute to play here in the half. Time for a late drive. It makes sense when you think about it. Hey, try and get a field goal. Give yourself a lead going into the half. But if you're going to do this, you better have supreme trust in your quarterback. Supreme trust in the guy who's going to handle the football. Because if you turn it over here, not only do you go in down at the half, you've given the momentum squarely to your opponent. And that's Elliott complete. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Dak Prescott last year against Philly. Boy, biggest game of his career passing yardage-wise. 455 yards, three touchdowns, and a 29-23 December victory over the Eagles. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Prescott now completes it to Jason Witten. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Prescott now, eight of 11 in this first half. He's got it first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. That one complete, Elliott. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. They'll throw again. Prescott. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 35. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Prescott going to come up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. 
To the air again, Prescott. He finds Randall Cobb with a completion. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This one fielded at the five. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Here we go. Back, man. Ready? Check, check. Block 54. Block 54. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're done. On second down now, it's Howard. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 17 yards and a first down for Philly. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. They run with Howard. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now they'll throw it. Wentz got his man complete over the middle. It's Ward. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 39. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Running with Howard. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, the returns for the Cowboys on Leighton Vander Esch have been pretty good so far. You know, a lot of Cowboy Nation questioned when they took him number 19 overall a season ago instead of Calvin Ridley. But Leighton Vander Esch would get 140 tackles last year. Franchise rookie record for Dallas en route to a Pro Bowl appearance. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. You got it. You got it. Ha ha, you got it. Yeah, the Cowboys here on third down bringing in an extra defensive back. From the gun, it's Wins. Oh, he's going to go for it all. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I like the boldness, and I like that they took a shot downfield, but it was well covered. He's able to get a hand in and knock it away. So on comes the Eagle kicker, Jake Elliott, on fourth down. He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It will be a 51-yard attempt. And that is no good. He gave it a good run. That wasn't more than a foot or so wide to the left. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. 
Now, how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott running one. He's got it. Hit the 15. A big play here for Dallas. 43 yards. They're still looking for their first touchdown of the game. And for a second, I thought they had it right there. Now looking on the sideline, it's finally good to see nods of approval as a welcome sign of life that this offense needed. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Gallup getting it on the jet sweep. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there. Second down. Looking to throw on second down. Prescott rolling to his right. And he's going to keep it here. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Prescott from the gun. He may try and run. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. And that touchdown ends a streak, for lack of a better word, of three field goals that they put on the board previously. They finally cracked the code. Yeah, they've been down there. They've been in enemy territory, as you said. They just haven't been able to punch it in until that point. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Well, partner, since this new two-point rule came into play, offense has been a lot more time working on it. That means the defenses are doing the exact same thing. Forbat to send it away now following the touchdown. This one fielded at the five. And pretty good field position here. He's out of bounds right at the 35. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Demarcus Lawrence picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Wentz on the draw leaves it for Sanders. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. He's able to get four back on the run, but now they'll have to find something here on third and about 14. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. It's caught by Sanders. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. 
Just a yard return there after a punt of 49. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 13. They start on the ground with Elliott. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. That's what I'm talking about. That's and this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And a short gain across the 15 to the 17-yard line. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Now Prescott, and he'll have his man. That's Cooper. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. After the penalty, it's Elliott. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. Jalen Mills in on the stop. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll try to throw now. Prescott and his pass incomplete. Nigel Bradham, the linebacker, right there on the coverage. Well, partner, so much for the mismatch. How about the guy at the second level, that big linebacker, able to run with the receiver and make a play on the football? They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. He can run for it, and he will. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 31-yard line. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. On first down, Elliott. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Let him go by a little too easily there. Well, that's what we saw in film, isn't it? His head goes down oftentimes when he goes to punch when he's trying to block. And when you do that, you can't see your target. He went right past him and made the play. On second and 11 now. Prescott toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Randall Cobb, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck. You don't have defensive backs making plays on the football. Hard to replicate the intensity of the game in pregame. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. So out comes the field goal team once more. From the left hash, this from 46. And Forbath will put this one through, and that'll push the lead up to eight. So make him four out of four now in the field goal department, and he's able to extend their lead. When drives are bogged down, he's been automatic out there. So nice to have a kicker you can count on to put points on the board.
Forbath now to kick it away after the made field goal. This one taken from the seven. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Let's go, let's go. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Now throwing here to start to drive as they connect left side. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. On the handoff, this is Howard. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. From midfield, here's Wentz. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Now Wentz. Eluding the pressure right. He'll run it. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Throwing again on second down. Wentz, man open. It's J.J. Ortega-Whiteside. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Wentz now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Working from the gun, Wentz. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 17 yards and a first down for Philly. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages... When they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. From the red zone now, Wentz. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A 14-yard touchdown. As they now sit just a two-point conversion away from tying this game up in the fourth quarter. So very late in the game here, but with that score, some luck. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The Booth wants to take another look at this potential touchdown. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for, and this touchdown will count. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Wins to throw again. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. And a failure to convert and tie the game. Now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point. You're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did.
Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Brought down by Nate Gary. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. From the 39, Prescott out to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage was excellent downfield. The Cowboys on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This will be third and six. Now Prescott. Forced out to his left. He may try and run for this. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Shotgun now for Wentz. Well, that's complete to Sanders. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield, but now it'll be third down. The Eagles on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third down and 12. Wentz going to throw. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. The sack by Michael Bennett, the native of tiny Independence, Louisiana. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Here's Cameron Johnston now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked. Go to so someone else. else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Nigel Bradham brings him down. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. 
Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. And you can't do it much better than that. This ball kicks out of bounds at the four-yard line. You need to give the ball away here in the fourth quarter while you just hold a slim lead. But that punt, absolutely ideal. They pin them inside the five-yard line. They give their defense a really nice opportunity. Here we go. Back, back. You must be What's They'll begin the drive with Howard. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Leighton Vander Esch, third in the NFL in tackles as a rookie last year, there on the stop. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. Throwing on second and eight. Wentz, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Right, you know a coach said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Completes it to Aguilar. And he is going to be stopped at the 12, short of the first down. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. A short game that doesn't get him the first down, Brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Here's Cameron Johnston now. Standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Here's Austin. And just a net of 31 here. 40-yard punt. Nine on the return. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and ten. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Give them 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. They'll run on first down. Italia. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. Well, that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we can make a play, we give our, team, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. And this is caught. It's Cooper. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Hey, 
So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try to sweep with Elliott. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. And now here comes the third of their timeouts defensively. So they'll be left with only the two-minute warning to stop it from here on out. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Throw it. Prescott. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Fletcher Cox able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Here's Elliott. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It's about a three-yard pickup there, but more importantly, they're still a few yards away here. It's now fourth down and goal. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Forbath will put this one through. And that will push the lead up to five. So yet another field goal to end a drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often. But you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. Forbath now to kick it away after the made field goal. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. So now Wentz in the Eagles. Down 21-16. A minute 11 to go. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. To throw his wins. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Michael Bannon in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. Now wins signaling frantically. Let's get to the line. Back to throw. Wins. The Sanders has got it complete. Seven yards on the play, and that's going to make it third down and ten. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock, but I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn into a big game. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now wins. Got a man, it's Arthega Whiteside. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 21 yards there on third down. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot.
So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Philly.